The Optimate Pro 4 Duo is designed for batteries used in vehicles with 12 volt systems. Each of the four charging stations operate independently. Any combination of 12 volt lead acid or lithium ferrous phosphate batteries can be charged simultaneously or at different times, including 12 volt lead acid batteries sized from 3 to 35 amps of different types, such as the standard wet cell with removable filler caps, dry charged absorbed glass mat delivered with separate acid pack, factory activated absorbed glass mat, and factory activated gel. Also, 12.8 volts lithium ferrous phosphate batteries sized from 2 to 20 amps. Some lithium batteries may be marked differently, including lithium ion, LFP, or LIFE, with a voltage of 12 volts, 12.8 volts, or 13.2 volts, but if used in a 12 volt vehicle system that delivers a charge of 14.4 volts, it is a 4 cell in series LFP lithium battery with a nominal voltage of 12.8 volts. The charger can be mounted permanently within reach of an AC outlet. The Optimate Pro Duo accepts global AC supply ranging from 100 to 240 volts by a replaceable power cable. The AC power switch turns on or interrupts AC power to the charger. Connection to each of the four batteries is achieved with a set of O14 fused battery clips and a replaceable O43 output cord extender. This video assists with the use of the Optimate Pro Duo. It is not a substitute for the instruction set delivered with this charger. Always use in conjunction with the instruction set. Before making a connection to a battery, always carefully read the complete safety instructions as well as Section B in the instruction booklet. Before preparing a new battery for its first charge, read the battery charger's safety instructions and, for lead acid batteries that receive acid prior to charging, carefully follow the recommended acid filling guidelines. Turn on the charger. The three charge mode selection indicators will now be dimly lit. PB is a symbol for 12 volt lead acid batteries. LFP is a symbol for 12.8 volt lithium ferrous phosphate batteries. The 60 minute is for new lead acid and lithium ferrous phosphate batteries that need a preparation charge before first use. Make the connection to the battery, positive clip to positive post, negative clip to negative post. Please note, if the battery voltage measures less than 11.4 volts, only the PB and LFP modes are selectable. To make a charge mode selection, press and release the button until the required mode has been selected. Continuing to press and release the button in rapid succession will cycle selection from PB through to 60 minute and then back to PB. If no further selection is made for 3 seconds, the last selected mode LED brightens to confirm selection is now final. The 60 minute mode limits charging to 60 minutes and is selectable only if the new battery measures at least 11.4 volts. Following selection, charging automatically starts here. The Ampmatic charge control automatically adjusts current between 1 amp to 5 amps to match the battery's electrical storage capacity in ampere hours. Charging continues until 14.4 volts is reached after which the Ampmatic Current Control Program delivers pulses of current for a period of 10 minutes, with voltage cycling between 14.1 and 14.4 volts to equalize the individual cells within the battery. Charging has been completed for a new battery, and it is ready for use if LED number 6 continues to slowly blink. If LED 8 blinks rapidly, the new battery was unable to hold a basic charge and may be faulty. The PB mode can recover, charge, 
and test a 12-volt lead-acid battery in any condition. Following selection, charging continues automatically if the battery measures at least 0.5 volts. LED 3 or LED 4 will turn on depending on the condition of the battery. Charging starts here for a deep discharge battery, measuring between 0.5 volts and 12.4 volts. The save mode continues through three steps to recover the battery so it can accept charge once again. A sulfated battery will initially receive higher voltage pulses to reverse the sulfation by forcing low current into the battery. At conclusion of the recovery process, a brief test is conducted to confirm that the battery has recovered. If LED 8 blinks rapidly, the battery cannot be recovered. No further charge will be delivered. For a battery that has recovered sufficiently, charging continues to LED 4. Charging starts here for a partially charged battery holding a voltage of 12.4 volts or higher. The Appmatic charge program automatically determines the most efficient rate of charge current according to the battery's state of charge, state of health, and electrical storage capacity measured in ampere hours. Charging continues until 14.4 volts is reached after which the Ampmatic Current Control Program delivers pulses of current for a period of 10 minutes, with voltage cycling between 14.1 volts and 14.4 volts to equalize the individual cells within the battery. A test is conducted to determine the serviceability of the battery. The open circuit voltage of a battery is directly proportional to its state of charge percentage, after it has been allowed to settle or cool for 30 minutes or more. The test concludes when the test LEDs 6, 7, or 8 turn full on. 80 to 100% is expected of a new battery. The battery is ready to be used. No further charging is required, but if left connected, the program continues to step 10 for a final cell balancing charge. At 60 to 80 percent, the battery may have lost capacity, but it is still serviceable. Less than 60 percent, the battery may be unserviceable. Testing continues for an additional 11 and a half hours to allow the battery more time to cool or settle. If LED 8 blinks, charging is suspended as the battery was unable to hold a basic charge. If the battery test at 60% or higher, charging continues to step 10. A further two hours of charge is delivered to equalize the individual cells within the battery and further optimize charge level. After this, the 24-7 maintenance charge cycle continues until the battery is disconnected. The LFP mode can reset, recover, charge, and test a 12.8 volt lithium ferrous phosphate battery in any condition, and with different types of battery management systems including standard with basic cell balancing, BMS with a non-resettable fuse that protects against severe overvoltage and short circuit, and advanced with a resettable protection against deep discharge, overvoltage, and short circuit. Before charging an LFP lithium battery, Carefully read the battery charger's safety instructions. First, select LFP charge mode. If the connected LFP battery's voltage is 0.5 volts or higher, charging continues automatically. LED 3 or LED 4 will turn on depending on the condition of the battery. If charging did not continue automatically, Manual activation is required for LifePo4 batteries with Integrated Battery Management System, or BMS, that protect against deep discharge or for a new LifePo4 battery delivered in sleep mode. Press the push button until LED 3 starts blinking. LED 3 continues to blink once per second as a special BMS reset pulse is delivered. When the Optimate senses the battery BMS is reset, LED 3 turns full on 
the reset pulses will automatically discontinue and charging begins. Charging starts here for a battery with voltage measuring less than 13 volts or if the charger was manually activated. Save mode continues through three steps to recover the battery so it can accept charge once again. For a deep discharged battery below 8.8 .8 volts, low current is delivered and will increase as the voltage rises towards 8.8 .8 volts. From 8.8 .8 volts, the current is kept at a fixed 1.25 amps, whilst the battery's charge acceptance is monitored for unusual behaviors such as may be exhibited by a short-circuited cell. If a shorted cell is detected, charging is suspended and LED 8 will blink. Otherwise, charging continues. Once the voltage has risen to 13.1 volts, charging is interrupted and the battery's ability to hold charge is monitored for two minutes. If damage has been detected, charging is interrupted. A damaged lithium battery is unrecoverable and will not receive further charge. Charging starts here for a battery with voltage measuring 13 volts or higher. The Atmatic Charge Program automatically determines the most efficient rate of charge current for the connected battery, according to its state of charge, state of health, and electrical storage capacity. The delivered current may be anywhere from 1.25 amps to 5 amps within the safe ambient temperature environment. Charging continues until 14.4 volts is reached, after which the Ampmatic Current Control Program delivers pulses of current for a period of 10 minutes. With voltage cycling between 14.1 volts and 14.4 volts, to equalize the individual cells within the battery. A test is conducted to determine serviceability of the battery. The open circuit voltage of a battery is directly proportional to its state of charge percentage after it has been allowed to settle or cool for 30 minutes or more. The test concludes when the test LEDs 6, 7, or 8 turn full on. 80% to 100% is expected of a new or healthy battery. The battery is ready to be used. No further charging is required, but if left connected, the program continues to step 10 for a final cell balancing charge. 60 to 80%, the battery may have lost capacity, but it is still serviceable. Leave connected to proceed to step 10. Less than 60%, the battery may be unserviceable. Testing continues for an additional 11 and a half hours to allow the battery more time to cool or settle. If LED 8 blinks, charging is suspended as the battery was unable to hold a basic charge. If the battery tested 60% or higher, charging continues to step 10. A further two hours of charge is delivered to equalize the individual cells within the battery and further optimize charge level. After this, the 24-7 maintenance charge cycle continues until the battery is disconnected. A rapidly blinking LED indicates a fault condition during which no charge is delivered. If LED 1A and 1B are blinking together, the battery is connected in reverse polarity. No charge will be delivered until the battery is connected correctly and a selection is made. A rapidly blinking LED 8 indicates that charging has been interrupted for one of the following reasons. Following a charge mode selection, environmental temperature is measured. If the temperature is below minus 20 degrees C or above 55 degrees C or below minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit and above 131 degrees Fahrenheit, no charge will be delivered until the temperature normalizes. If during recovery, charging, or testing, LED 8 starts to blink rapidly, the battery may be faulty. If the 60-minute mode was selected, the new battery was unable to hold a basic charge. If PB or LFP mode was selected, the used battery is damaged and cannot be recovered. Optimate Pro 4 Duo the professional's choice.